So what's going on guys welcome back to another face cam video and it's been a while that I have made like actual face to face video last time it was actually a rant for Xiaomi about anti rollback big fuck you to Xiaomi right now but this time again it's an anti rollback video but not for Xiaomi it's about Samsung and it's not a rant this is just a video for you guys to let you know that anti rollback is there in Samsung Android 8.0 Oreo updates well if you have not already subscribed to my channel and if you don't actually watch my videos lately almost like last for two weeks I've been making videos on Samsung 8.0 Oreo updates for Galaxy J series or any kind of phone that Galaxy A series mainly J series right now which are receiving Android Oreo update and their reviews well those Oreo updates well not all OTAs the OTA was for the Galaxy J7 Pro but for the Galaxy J7 NA and the J5 Prime I actually manually flashed Android Oreo update well while doing that I actually found some things first of all country changing is not now actually widely available as of before if you are on Nougat India you can't actually change to the Argentina Oreo or something you have to be on Indian Oreo in order to change to Argentina or USA Oreo or something yes unlike before you can't just jump countries now after that the anti rollback protection now why is not everyone talking about this yes Anti rollback is one of the hottest topics right now, thanks to Xiaomi. But no one actually knows about it. Yes, I wasn't able to find any kind of single topic talking about Samsung's anti rollback protection. Well, it's not actually protection. Well, it is the best thing that actually Xiaomi could have done. The Samsung tool, which is known as Odin, is used in order to flash the Samsung firmware. Actually, lets you know if the firmware isn't actually flashable, even though the tool is just a later version of it. For example, if you flash an anti rollback protector firmware on an older Mi Flash tool, it will say something kind of error. Again, if you have a newer version of Mi Flash tool, it will say anti rollback check failed or various tons of shit. Whereas, for compared to the Odin, Odin will say you param bin and just fail it over there then again going through the telegram forums i actually heard many ways to flash the firmware even though it has anti rollback protection well for android 8.1 oreo that doesn't really help but for the android 8.0 oreo version like devices such as for example galaxy s7 edge galaxy a8 j5 prime all the 2016 or 2017 devices which actually received oreo update by samsung can actually benefit by this well oh here you have to just flash the ap and csc ap is just your normal system and csc is the thing which actually lets the phone know which country is it in or whether it has to like apply the ultra data saving as secure features or not otherwise the firmware is just plain same but over here you are not flashing bootloader and the cp which is for weird reason you can actually boot oreo on android nougat bootloader yeah it's just weird even on the newer firmware such as for the galaxy j5 prime you can't just do that it will actually just fill at param.bin which is the actual boot logo of your phone which just tells you that this is a galaxy j7 this is a galaxy a7 edge yeah it will just fail right there and earlier before if you just try to install Another firmware such as for example as I told you before Android Nougat to like US Android Oreo it will fail at set partition now earlier I thought Galaxy J5 Prime actually received treble but no that's not happening at all but Samsung has actually changed the partition tables on this phone in order to prevent the flashing yes this is just outright genius so actually if you are now upgrading from Nougat to Oreo it will fail at set partition cause you don't actually have the partition pit file the only people that actually have the hold of it is Samsung well in order to make it yourself it's actually extremely hard and after treble project many of the Xiaomi developers have actually do that but that's extremely hard and that can actually permanent heartbreak your device so I just don't recommend like making your own pit files and then as we are done with Android 8.0 Oreo device the Android 8.1 device such as the Galaxy Note 10 well you can't actually downgrade it as it was launched with Android 8.1 but the devices such as Galaxy J7 NXT then again Galaxy J7 Pro or any kind of A series phone even though I can't remember any A series phone with 8.1 but with those devices those have the complete anti rollback protection for example if you just flash a complete firmware with CSC, AP, CP and bootloader it will just say on your phone it will just say partition fail on the Odin mode but on the phone it will say phone binary 5 and the binary you are flashing is 4 yeah well this is not compulsory that the number would be same but the number will be actually above what you are flashing yes basically it won't actually allow you to flash the older firmware at all well I don't actually know about the custom ROMs as I don't have any kind of J series phone to try with it but as I had these phones and as per my knowledge you can actually flash Android Nougat custom ROMs on it yes I have not actually personally tried it but according to my knowledge yes you can do it again my thoughts on it is extremely brilliant cause people like to downgrade firmware cause they just don't like the UI well if from Samsung Nougat to Oreo the UI is not a big deal over here as it just looks same for almost three years from Marshmallow like the Grace UX from the Android 8.1 Oreo it's just completely the same but with Android Pie update yeah it looks fucking ugly 
I know I was so pumped that it's been two years. Samsung will give a new UI, and then we just get this Windows Phone like theme. Like I have the Pie Launcher installed on my Galaxy Note 9. Here's a bit of a preview, and the settings UI just looks so much uglier. I mean, this is a leaked build, not even the beta. But again. If you are downgrading just for the UI, just don't. It's for your personal security reasons. Cause even though Samsung has their snogs against security patches, some things just slip in through. Like in last month, Samsung Messages app was just sending your random images to just random contacts. The funny part over here is you won't be able to see the images which were sent. People would receive it. Yeah. So again, just stay on the latest firmware. It's for your better. And then again, if you are just downgrading for the UI, now you can't. You actually have to lose your warranty for it by just unlocking the bootloader. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the anti-rollback protection news from Samsung. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want more news about Samsung phones, cause yeah, it's end of the year. Android Pie is near. Please subscribe down there and see you in the next one. Peace. Well, that was cringy.